Tesla and Unitree are two companies at the front lines of humanoid robotics. Both are building machines that could reshape industries, redefine human labor, and even change how we live our daily lives. But when you put Tesla's Optimus against Unitree's G1, which one is really leading the humanoid revolution? Let's begin with design and build. Tesla's Optimus, often called the Tesla Bot, is a full-sized humanoid robot. It stands about 1 meter 73 tall, weighs 56 kilograms, and has been designed to mirror human proportions. Tesla's vision is clear. Build a robot that can move and work in spaces designed for humans, handling physical tasks like carrying objects, assisting in factories, or even helping at home. Unitree's G1, by comparison, is smaller and more compact. At 1 meter 27 in height and 35 kilograms in weight, it's lighter, more portable, and tailored for research and development. While Optimus is being built for mass production and practical labor, the G1 is aimed at agility, flexibility, and accessibility for developers who want to experiment with humanoid robotics today. Now let's talk about mechanics and movement. Optimus is designed with close to 30 degrees of freedom, giving it a wide range of human-like motions. Tesla's demos have shown it walking smoothly, squatting down, carrying objects, and even folding laundry. The emphasis is on safe, controlled movement that can eventually handle repetitive and useful tasks in factories and homes. Unitree's G1 has 23 degrees of freedom, slightly less than Optimus, but it makes up for it with agility. In demonstrations, the G1 has shown quick, precise motions and impressive balance. It may not yet handle heavy lifting, but it's proving to be an adaptable robot for hands-on tasks. Performance is where we see the philosophy of both companies diverge. Tesla has been cautious, showing steady progress with Optimus. The robot's movements are deliberate and focused on practical function, rather than speed or flash. The goal is reliability and long-term usefulness. Unitree, meanwhile, moves faster in its development cycle. The G1 is already available to researchers and can be used in labs, classrooms, and early industrial testing. Unitree wants to give people a working humanoid platform now, even if it doesn't yet have the full intelligence of Tesla's vision. That brings us to the most important difference, artificial intelligence. Tesla is building Optimus on the backbone of its existing AI system, the same technology that powers Tesla cars, using vision-based neural networks trained on the Dojo supercomputer. Optimus is designed to understand the world around it through cameras and advanced machine learning. The long-term vision is a humanoid that doesn't just move, but can learn, adapt, and eventually think through tasks much like a human worker. Unitree's G1 doesn't reach that level of AI integration. Its intelligence is geared towards stable locomotion, program tasks, and interactive demonstrations. While it doesn't yet have advanced reasoning or autonomy, its strength is accessibility, making humanoid robotics available to researchers who want to push the boundaries of AI themselves. And then there's the question of price and availability. Tesla's Optimus is not yet for sale. Though Elon Musk has repeatedly said he wants the price to be around $20,000 once production scales up. This would make Optimus far more affordable than most humanoids in history, potentially opening the door to widespread adoption. The Unitree G1, however, is already on the market. Depending on the configuration, it can cost anywhere between $16,000 and $90,000. While that's a big range, it means Unitree is already putting humanoids into the hands of researchers, universities, and private buyers. A huge step in real-world deployment. So who's really ahead? Today, Unitree has the edge in accessibility. The G1 is real. It's available. And it's already shaping research in robotics labs around the world. Tesla, however, is playing the long game. With the power of Dojo, its expertise in large-scale manufacturing, and its focus on AI integration, Optimus could eventually leap ahead and redefine entire industries once it's ready for mass production. This isn't just a battle of two robots, it's a battle of two philosophies. Unitree is focused on giving us humanoid robots right now, even if they're still limited. Tesla is focused on building the ultimate intelligent machine of the future. So the question is, do you bet on the present or the future? Let me know in the comments who you think is winning this humanoid race. Tesla's Optimus with its advanced AI vision, or Unitree's G1 with its head start in the real world. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, make sure to subscribe for more deep dives into the future of AI, robotics, 
and intelligent machines. This is RoboFrontier, your gateway to the frontier of robotics.